Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the moment you've been waiting for. Welcome to the technical analysis playlist. <laughs> I'm Karina, an experienced trader who loves to make things easy so that everyone can take advantage of this wonderful tool. Today, we are taking the first step, which is understanding the ABC of the charts. Candlesticks. <laughs> Candlesticks are the first things we see when we look at a chart. So it's a great place to start. There's my pen. Got my, got my pen here. And it's on. Don't run out of battery. First of all, please excuse my drawing, but <laughs> this is how I would explain it to a friend. I'd usually just draw, draw on a piece of paper. So in this case, I'm just gonna draw on my tablet. The way I like to explain candlesticks is by first understanding what an OHLC bar is. OHLC stands for open, high, low, close. Let's say for example, we buy, I'm just gonna use Bitcoin as an example, and it costs a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars. Candlesticks can contain a minute's worth of information, five minutes worth of information, an hour worth of information, four hours, a day, a week, a month. It depends on what you want to see on the chart. So let's just say these are hourly candlesticks. One candlestick is going to contain the price movement within one hour. So let's say it's 10 a.m. Bitcoin is worth 1,000 and now it comes up a little bit. It's, it's worth 1,050, 1,100 and then it comes down. It's worth 900, 800. As long as the price goes higher than the price it started at, the candlestick is going to be green. But the moment the price starts to go lower, so beyond, beyond this point here, then all of a sudden the candlestick is going to turn red. Just to be clear, I am using OHLC bars to explain candlesticks. So I am using the word candlestick when I speak, although I am drawing OHLC bars. You will understand why in a bit. Let's just say the price of Bitcoin goes up and down and up and down. Maybe it even goes down to 500 and then back up again. And then by the end of the hour, it ends here at, let's just say 800, for example. It's 11 a.m., so let's just put here 10 a.m. <laughs> and it's 11 a.m. At the beginning of the candlestick, we had 10 a.m., a thousand US dollar. And then by 10.59, so by the end of the hour, the candlestick closed at 11 a.m. at 800 US dollar. The candlestick is red because it closed at a lower price than the price it opened at. All right, so the price opened here. It went up, down, up, down, up, down, and closed here. All right, so that will make a red candlestick. So the candlestick closes here, right? And so the new candlestick is going to open right next to it, here. It opens here at 11 a.m. and at $800. And then the price starts to fluctuate. So it goes down a bit. The candlestick now would be red, by the way. And then it goes up. So now the candlestick is green. It goes down a bit more. Candlestick is red. It goes up. Candlestick becomes green. It goes up a bit more and a bit more and a bit more and then down. And then it closes here. But now we know that at the end of the hour, the price was higher than at the beginning of the hour. So this is information that we know. At the end of the hour, let's say the price has closed at 1,100 US dollar. Now it is 12 and a new candlestick is forming. And it goes up and it goes down and it goes up and it goes down up and down and then closes up here so again here we have a green candlestick um, so that's basically what candlesticks are then let's say for example we've got price opens here so you see how price always opens here and 
here. Okay, so we get another candlestick, it goes up, it would be green now, and then it goes down, and then it goes up, and it's teasing you, it's green again, and then it goes down, and then up, and then down, and then it closes here. So now we've got a red candlestick. So yeah, and then the next price would open here, and maybe it goes up, and then down, and then it closes here, and then the next price would go here, up, down, maybe closes here, and then the candlestick goes up, 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 and closes here, and here and then up and then here for example and you get it you get the point right i was using the word candlestick the whole time but these are actually ohlc bars ohlc open high low close and that's the name of these bars okay so now we are actually going to see what candlesticks are now that you understand what OHLC bars are, it's going to be a lot easier for you to understand what a candlestick is. We're going to take an OHLC bar as an example to explain what a candlestick is. Let's go ahead and make it green. So price started here, went up and down, up and down, and then maybe it closed about up here. In order to draw a candlestick, it's very easy. What we're going to do is we're just going to create a square around it and fill the body. And that's what a candlestick looks like. All of these candlesticks have names and we'll get more into that in my next video. And if it has popped up already, it's going to be up here, I think. <laughs> Let's go back to this candlestick. If we just have a look at this, Right, what can we read? What is obvious to us here? It's, it's not obvious straight away, but if we remove the body, then what we do have is this. So we know that that was open price and that was closed price. So let's just say that was 1,000 US dollar. And so the price went up within the hour and it closed at 1,100 US dollar. I'm gonna draw that candlestick again. And with the body. All right, so this is the body. And this is the wick. And that is also wick. And so we know that price is closed here. So a new candle will form and it say goes up and then down and it becomes red and it closes here. We're gonna make it red because it closed lower. And so all this is, is we just complete the space. Price closed here. So price is going to, so the candlestick, the next candlestick is going to open here. And then it go up and down and then maybe it closes here. So we'll draw the body again. And then we have another one. Up, down, up, down, and then it closes here. And there we go. And Maybe we get a green one now. So the price opens here. And then up, down, up. Loads of buys in the market. Closes here. And let's just fill that. I'm just speeding through this. And then another one opens here. Up, down. Closes here. We get another one of these. And yeah, this is, we can just draw another red one. Up, down, closes here, and there we go. And that is your trading chart. If you look at a trading chart, so maybe pause this video and go take a look at, at tradingview.com and have a look at a chart and you'll see that now you can understand a little bit more about candlesticks. I'm just gonna explain one more time. This is open, this is close, this here, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, 
close, open, close, open. I suggest you have a little look at the chart and see if you can figure out where the price has started and where it's finished at the end of the hour. A little trick would be, I draw a candlestick. Yeah. Let me just draw a candlestick like this. So again, let me just show you what, what's underneath. If you think of the left side is usually open and right side is usually closed. The candlestick will open either up here or down here and will close either up here or down here. If the candlestick is green, then you know that it's opened lower than it's ended. If the candlestick is red, then we know we've got the wick. Where did it open? It opened somewhere on the left side. If it's red, then the price is closed cheaper than the price it opened at. So it opened up here and then it closed down here. So this was the starting price and this was the end price at the end of the hour. That was as simple as I could make it. Hopefully you've gotten some value out of this video and now you can look at a chart and understand a little bit more about what's going on there. It is a tiny piece of the picture, but it's a very important piece. Some people only trade candlesticks. That's it for today. I'm trying my very best to make this video short and simple and easy and little bite sizes of information at a time. This is the first video of a long playlist on technical analysis alone. So we're going to take it step by step, going from complete beginner to intermediate and then further down the line, a little bit more advanced. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments below. And if there's anything that needs a little bit more clarification when it comes to understanding candlesticks. From wherever you are in the world, I wish you have a happy day and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.